What's going on guys? Just bought another house and so I was going to show you guys the before and we'll kind of take a tour so that we can show you what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. So on the outside we have this siding with brick in the middle and some older windows that are on here and it's um, actually the house is one of the nicest houses that we've bought. It's in really good shape. So what we're going to do on the outside of this house is we are going to put wood posts in and then we are going to paint the siding and paint it a different color. With the color that the brick is, um, the color that's on here now, to me just don't look the best with this color. And so we're going to paint it a different color. Probably going to go with a dark gray color and I think that would look a lot better. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to change the exterior door, the front door, um, and make it a little bit nicer but besides that there's not much that we have to do to the outside of the house all right guys as you come in we have the little entry area here we have um, a drywall everywhere in the entry and um, we have uh, laminate floors um, like a light uh, a, a reddish brown colored laminate wood floor and as you come through we have a big closet here where we put in where you can hang your coats and everything like that it's a very uh, nice large closet for that with entry by fold doors. And then on the left, what we have here is the first bedroom. And uh, these bedrooms are really nice. They're really good size and they have two um, good size windows um, on each side. And then each one of these have nice closets with rolling slide doors and they're in good shape. And the carpet in these bedrooms is in really good shape. So in the bedrooms, we actually won't have to do very much at all to them. As you continue down the hall, we have a little closet for the heating and air. The heating and air works really well in this house, so that's good. We won't have to mess with that or spend money on it. And then next to it is the second bedroom. And this bedroom is the same as that one. It has the two windows in each one and in this bedroom. And then we also have the carpet and won't have to do much of this. Mainly just needs touched up. Any uh, holes in the drywall need to be patched and then repainted. Now, to go forward, we have a bathroom. this bathroom here. As we go through the hall, and it's one of the first bathrooms. So what they did here is they put all car siding in here. They put concrete countertops and then um, a, a sink in. And then the part that I hate the most is we have a pink tub in here. And so yesterday we did already have done quite a bit of demolition and tore most everything out that we don't like except this tub. But what, what, we're probably going to refinish this tub because it's in good shape. It's just the wrong color. And then we'll probably tile the sides. And what I figure that I'm going to do, I haven't decided completely yet, but I'm probably going to just have to paint this car siding white um, to make it match the rest of the house. And the reason for that is, is because we have part of the house that's more rustic style with car siding and then like cedar trim and everything like that. The rest of the house is like white, um, white trim and more modern and more modern things. And so it don't, they, those two things clash. So what I'm gonna try to do is make it to where it's one style because I don't like the two different styles in the house. So if you take a left from the bathroom, it takes you straight into the dining room. And as you can see, we have this real nice white fireplace and brick that they painted over. They painted over this brick fireplace. And then we have the tile and the brick on the bottom of the base of the fireplace and it's very ugly, it don't match at all. And then this whole room is in car siding. All the way around is car siding. And so we're gonna have to do something about that as well. Then we have this big opening here and it goes right into the living room. So we have the living room here and it is massive. Matter of fact, it goes all the way over into this part and this is probably like 20 foot by about 13, 14 foot and just a giant, giant living room. Honestly, it's a huge waste of space because this house is only two bedrooms, two baths. Well, you know that a house sells so much better if it's three bedrooms. So one of the main reasons that I bought this house and the reason I feel like I can make a profit on it is because I am gonna turn half of this living room into the master bedroom. And that's what we, we did a lot of tearing out yesterday. And so I'll try to explain to you and show you what we're gonna do. So right here in this living room, we're gonna frame us a wall across here. And in this, we're going to frame this wall across here and we're going to put this door in this little cubby hole area here to where you walk into the, the, to the master bedroom right here. And um, I would like it, it's, it's better if you can get the door for the master bedroom, not right off the living room, but in this, this, um, but in this situation, we have no other spot that we could, that we could put it that would make sense. And so we're going to put it 
there because even though that's not ideal, it's better to have a master bedroom and have the door right off the living room. And so actually it's going to be it's going to be okay in the long run because it's going to when you open the door it's going to be hidden it's not like a lot where you open the door to the bedroom right off the living room and then the whole room is, is exposed and everybody in the living room can see right inside the room um, so it'll actually be kind of in the corner to where you can't really see in there so it won't be that bad so that's going to give us a pretty good size like a, a 12 by 14 master bedroom um, which will make it nice for this style of house and uh, have these big windows in the master bedroom. And so this is what before, before there was a, this just came in straight into the kitchen and that's all there was and there was. But what we did is I tore this door out right here. And the reason I tore this door out right here is because this goes straight into the other bathroom. And so what this is gonna be then, it'll be the third, the master bedroom will have its own bathroom that's specific just to the master bedroom. And then what we're gonna do, you could see here that we tore out the floor and uh, 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 on this part, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this gap off that was to the kitchen. And in the kitchen here, we are going to frame in the master closet. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna walk in and you can go into your master bath that has your toilet sink and then this tile shower. And then after you get that, and then you can take a left here, you can go through this door and then this will be the closet and it'll have a big master closet. So what we had to do, we moved the garage door um, and tore it completely out. And then what we're gonna do is with this old wall that was here, we're gonna go ahead and frame it across, frame it across and come over here. And this will be the big master closet and make it really nice. And then what will happen is, what we had to do is you can see here, this is a lot of the demo that we did. There was cabinets all right here and we tore out just to probably three or four foot of, of cabinets and cut it off where we made just a small corner here and we got to finish all this and then this is going to be the walkway so what you'll do is you'll come in from the dining room and when you come in from the dining room there'll be it'll be a, a big entryway right into the kitchen which will be perfect and instead of this being all open like this we're going to have the master closet there and try to get the space where it's perfect for a master bedroom so basically what we're doing is turning in from a two bed two bath to a three bed three bath a three bed two bath and that's going to make it so much better so the cabinets in the it has tile backsplash and black cabinets and they're actually in pretty good shape won't have to do much but just a lot of touch up to them and fix a few doors and things like that to fix them and then what we have one of the best things about this house is we have the big door um, that goes outside and one of the things that's going to make this incredible is we have a huge fenced in backyard and I mean it is a big backyard so you guys I don't know if you can see but we got this patio that is covered back porch with concrete that's really nice and we got to clean up this whole backyard and then back here we have the so in back here we have the hot water heater and then we have the hookups for the washer and dryer with nice closets and another exterior door and then right on this side of the kitchen what we have is the door that goes outside to the garage and we have a big two-car garage hooked on too as well so um, most of these rooms the laundry room and these rooms we won't have, hardly have to do any work but the main work is going to be is adding this master bedroom and this closet and fixing these cabinets and making them well so that's what we're going to get started on that's what we're going to do and hopefully you guys like it when we get it all done and i'll show you what it looks like all right guys we finished this house and got it all done so i'll show you the outside what we did on the outside was we put in these brand new posts and we took out those all those dated um basically those wire steel posts we took all them out what we did was we put shutters on made a lot and then we painted it a gray color and did that so made the outside look a lot better now on the inside as you can see we first thing we did was we repainted all of the all the walls we repainted them and did that and the rooms we didn't do much to it all the only thing that we did was we put in new windows in all these rooms and painted everything and in this bathroom we did a lot so in here put brand new countertops painted all the car siding white and then this tub it was that pink color and so what we did was we retiled and we tiled all that and they had that uh all that metal up so we redid that the dining room we made a big change we got we put they had that ugly tile on the fireplace we redid it then we repainted everything in here 
because um, it was that car siding and it was the wood color and we painted it all white to make it look more modern. And this is where, here is where in this living room is where we made the big change. We changed this whole wall and uh, moved it out and made a master bedroom. So you can see we did a master bedroom here and then we left that same ba bathroom and in that bathroom we made a new door going out and into that door is where we put the master closet. So you can see that in here. So it looks all, it's a big walk-in closet for the master. And then in here, we did all the, all the, we kept all this bathroom all the same. Then in here, in the kitchen, what we did to leave room for the master, we moved the door over. And what we did was we put, took out just a little bit of cabinet. So we have a new walkway, refixed all the cabinets and did all that. And that's pretty much the main thing we did. The main thing was just moving that wall and moving the garage door. So it turned out really good. Hope you guys liked it. It turned out to be a really good house.